It's the battle between water conservation and growing Arizona's economy. Massive data centers are starting to make the valley their home. They bring a major boost to the state, but they're also using millions of gallons of water every day. Yeah, for Impact Earth, ABC 15's Cameron Pullum is digging deeper as some local leaders are now starting to push back on this industry. And this recent one um, is one that's on 396 acres is going to be divided into three phases. City of Mesa Vice Mayor Jen Duff, the only city council member to vote no on a recently approved $800 million data center rumored to be for Facebook. Doing so after discovering the facility would eventually use 1.75 million gallons of water every day for cooling its rows of servers once fully operational. This as state reservoirs like Lake Mead and rivers like the Colorado are so low that federal restrictions are likely to be triggered on Arizona's water allocation as early as next year. So when I think about that and I think about the huge impact of a data center that uses water for cooling is something I felt wasn't a good use of water for our city. It's the eighth data center approved by the city of Mesa. She says while they do generate millions in state taxes and fees for water and electricity, the newest facility, like many others, will only employ around 150 people. But they're not high income and they don't uh, employ a lot of people for sure. If you want to bring in uh, new businesses and industries that are going to be water use intensive, um, Th that should be be more heavily scrutinized. Dr. Christopher Castro, professor of hydrology and atmospheric sciences at U of A, agrees with Duff's apprehension. So my question to them is, well, where exactly is this water coming from? Is it sustainable? Um, uh, are you accounting for our our current conditions of of being in a long term 20 year mega drought right now that water source would be drawing from the same one soon to be getting cuts. That's not to say companies running these data centers aren't trying to reduce their water footprint. Some use air conditioning systems while others are experimenting with using methods like free air cooling, which uses fresh outdoor air to cool a space. However, it only works in cooler climates. If you want to talk about things like maybe using uh, reclaimed or recycled water, uh, wastewater, treated wastewater, um, then those perhaps are more viable solutions. As of now, that's not the case with this latest approval. Once completed, this one facility will use the same amount of water on a daily basis as 9,200 homes, something Vice Mayor Duff just couldn't ignore. If we weren't in this cutback already, it might be different, but we are in a danger zone, in my opinion. I'm Cameron Polum, ABC 15, Arizona. The ABC 15 Impact Earth team wants to hear your questions about Arizona's water crisis. What are you most concerned about? Do you have an idea to help conserve our state's water for the future? You can email us anytime at impactearth at abc15.com. And you can see all of our past reporting on this issue at abc15.com forward slash impactearth.